In this video, we will demonstrate a practical approach for integrated model-based engineering based on building and analyzing digital threads. Important stages of the overall process are developing a digital thread schema, building the thread, creating and testing queries on it, constructing a data analytics framework, and automating these analyses for ongoing project validation and management. For us, a digital thread looks something like this. There are many different models. Each of these circles represents a different model of a different aspect of the system. And within each model, there are model elements, artifacts like requirements and behaviors and simulation results. Within that model, these are connected together, and we call those intra-model connections, intra for inside the model. But we also want to tie these separate models together and that's what the dashed orange lines represent. We call those intermodel relations, inter for between models. Together, these comprise the digital thread. A digital thread platform becomes a single pane of glass through which all the system data can be searched, accessed, and analyzed. Each digital thread schema is unique, reflecting the objectives of the project, the digital tools available to the project team, and the organizational workflow. For this demonstration, our toolset includes Sundea, a digital thread platform from our company Intercax, and an eclectic array of widely used engineering software tools. Sundea supports an open digital thread, integrating engineering models from a wide variety of disciplines and software vendors. It also supports multiple data consumers, including Intercax supplied interfaces and third-party and user-written applications for visualization, data science, and business analytics through a single fully documented REST API. These provide both internal and external stakeholders windows on the system model responsive to their specific needs and access. For our example, we have chosen a digital thread schema like this, applied to a maritime environmental systems project. Requirements in JAMA Connect, Drive System Architecture, and Cameo System Modeler, decomposing to hardware in Windchill PLM, and software in GitLab ALM. Further links go to JIRA for logging schedule and status, TestRail for managing the test plan, and CREO for mechanical design. Now, this schema is not unique. The Sedea platform supports many other tools and patterns. We can now begin to build the digital thread, initially using a Sedea plugin client for Cameo. Sedea supports two general types of persistent connections between models, reference connections between pre-existing model elements, and model transform connections, which share, compare, and update information between model repositories. For example, a CAD assembly model can generate a SysML block structure. We start by using a model transform to copy requirements from JAMA to the SysML architecture model. Launching from the SysML tool, we set up the Sendea client dashboard with the SysML model on the left and JAMA on the right then dragging and dropping the top-level requirement from JAMA to an empty package in SysML. Quickly, the entire requirements hierarchy is recreated on the left, each linked back to the original repository. From the Sedea client dashboard, we can open a requirement in its native web interface. If the master requirement is changed in JAMA, Sundea can detect the changes across connections, prepare a difference table, and update the information to Cameo on request. The next step in building the digital thread might take a conceptual structure model from SysML to the Windchill repository, creating a PLM bill of materials.
if I modify the SysML structure by removing a part of the environment subsystem, Syndia can again detect differences across the connections. Updating the wind chill creates a new bill of materials configuration. Where model transform is not required, Sindia can create and persist version-sensitive reference connections between domains, here from SysML to a test case in TestRail. No information is shared, but the link allows quick navigation to the TestRail interface. As the digital thread is constructed, we can begin to view and analyze it, here using the Sundea web dashboard. We can view the contents of the federated repository and interactively trace the connections between model elements. From the JAMA requirement to other JAMA requirements, JIRA and Teamwork Cloud, and hence to GitLab and Team Center and Windchill. But we can also holistically analyze the thread using efficient graph database technology. Here we are using Gremlin Pattern Matching Query to extract all connection patterns from JAMA to SysML and Teamwork Cloud to GitLab for a specific digital thread. More complex patterns reflecting the schema we choose can be displayed. Requirements to SysML to ALM and PLM in parallel and on to project management. With a modified query, we can focus on JAMA, to Cameo, to Windchill, to Jira. Visualized, tabulated, or simply counted. This web interface made it easy to develop and test individual queries, but we need to embed these in a more sophisticated analytical framework. For example, we can use a common open source data science tool, Jupyter Notebooks, to string together multiple graph queries with Python data analysis and display libraries. The first ordered cells in this notebook include provision for authenticating into the Sundea Cloud repository, using in this case my personal credentials and the password I enter to start the session. The next cells execute some of the graph queries we have just verified, such as the number of nodes in the Sundea project, and listing the Teamwork Cloud requirements. We can display the results in tabular format. Here, traceability from SysML to requirements in JIRA. But we can do more than just look at the contents of the Sundea database. Here we extract data from the JAMA Federated Repository via the Sundea Cloud REST API, independent of whether that data is part of the digital thread. And we can use the powerful plotting and analysis capabilities in Python to color code the results for review. And results are preserved for each run. The final stage is to automate these tasks and reports. For example, to run the scripts we just tested in notebook format each morning before 8 o'clock to alert relevant stakeholders of significant changes to the system model overnight. Rather than offering a single standard scheduling module, Sundea supports digital pipeline tools from the DevOps world to program and execute the tasks and save and distribute the results. Here we have used the open source Jenkins application with the Blue Ocean user interface. We choose a pipeline that will export and transform blocks from a SysML model in Teamwork Cloud to issues in JIRA. We can see a list of previous runs and whether they were successful or unsuccessful. In initiating a new run, we can follow the steps from Extract from Teamwork Cloud transform and push to JIRA. Viewing the shell script, we have a record of the individual actions where the blue links are live and can take us directly to the JIRA issue created. 
Finally, the successful run is added to the record. This process could be run periodically to update Jira when new SysML items are created without human intervention. In this video, we have demonstrated five stages in using digital threads for MBSE using existing commercial and open source software tools. To learn more about this approach, many examples are provided on our website, and our team would be happy to discuss them with you.